Hey, Aunt Diane here. I'm going to do something real silly. I recently got a bike, and um, <laughs> I don't remember how to put a bike rack on, so I bought this thing at Walmart. <laughs> and um, I bought the bike in a good place, but I got a rack at Walmart. It was cheap, and I watch YouTube videos on how to put it together, and it didn't make sense. The, the uh, written directions didn't make sense. I'm going to take a picture of what I did. I hooked it to the top of the truck. There's lots of pollen, so never mind. It's an old car, so I'm not worried about scratching it. And then I just, like, took ties and put it over here. So I guess you could laugh if you want. The place is only, like, two miles away. So when I get there, I'm going to ask someone in the parking lot who also has a bike. How the hell do you do this? How do you extend these arms that they say come out? Um, I did check that that it takes my kind of uh, car, that it'll fit my car. And um, it didn't make a damn bit of sense. I mean, it did say it does fit, but this is the best way I have to put it on until I get there. So I'm gonna go very slowly. I'll let you know how it goes. I'm going down my block very slowly. I've got my emergency blinkers on, and so far the bike's still holding on. I'm going a whole two miles an hour so hey maybe in a couple hours I'll be there before dark I stopped at a gas station out of desperation to beg somebody to help me do this <laughs> tie my bike back up the way I had it tied in the first place and I'm not even sure it's uh, as tightened as it's supposed to be but I'll be there shortly you can see gas went down a little to 388 a gallon by the way I'm not endangering myself because I figured going oh I'm going 20 miles an hour Woo and I'm almost there anyway be another mile to go so I'm halfway there yay now this road's not as bad I'm going towards Charleston but I'm only going a mile now what really sucks is to turn into this park I've got to get in the left lane I'm gonna have a couple of real angry dudes uh, saying, what are you doing in the left lane? So I'll wait to get over to the left. Oh, actually, it's coming right up. I just want to ride along the Ashley River, the beautiful Ashley River. Now, this guy's going to get in the left lane to get around me. The reason I didn't ride right to the park, which I might risk next time, is that there are no sidewalks on my road. It's very dangerous riding more dangerous than what I'm doing now. I don't advise anyone to do what I'm doing, but I'm crazy, I'm old, and I'm kind of stupid. But it's coming up on the left, so yay. Aha! Uh -huh. Here we are! Ashley River Park. Wait a minute. I don't want to look at my... There we go. Dorchester. Ashley River Park. Since I'm old, you know, over 60, I was able to get a yearly pass for $25. And it's good for a carload of nine people. All right. Alligators may live here. Yes, I only saw one so far. One, one big one they had to remove because it was uh, there were little kids playing and it was scaring them or something like that. We don't want a repeat of what happened to that little boy at Disney World. Shoot. 
to is my yearly card. You know anybody that knows how to put her bike rack on correctly? <laughs> um, I easily. Or I'll just wait and see another bicyclist. I'm only two miles from here and it took me like a really long time because I was driving real slow. See you later, ugly bike rack. Maybe we'll hook up later. Here I'm riding through the jungle. Oh, the ground is not very flat here. But this is what you see ahead. It's gorgeous. In the 80s and humid in the sky. Here's the river along the side. Whoa. It is so beautiful. My first time on this trail. Oh, by the way, I haven't ridden a bike in like 30 something years. Oh, thanks for getting back to the parking lot. I think I had enough adventure for today. Oh. Oh. This is what you call a flat bottom swamp. On the way back to the parking lot, because I'm old and I get tired easily. It sure does look peaceful though, doesn't it? Boy, that sure looks refreshing over there. But I'll just drink my drink and go home. And this is how it goes, sweet young, sweet old man, who's probably my age, very cute, with his grandson, help me with this, and it'll hold really well, kind of for my two mile journey back home. What an adventure, shower number two for the day, coming right up. This makes me feel a little better until I hop in the shower. I'm fresh and clean, I'm feeling brand new, I don't feel 60 today, I feel 90, da 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 da. I'm home where I want to be with my baby dolls, they're mad at me for going out. But I'm home now.